Hi, I am Smith. Today trending topic is David McCallum, who rose to fame in the 1960s as Russian spies Ilya Karayakin on The Man from UNCLE and later won over a new generation of viewers on the hit NCIS series, has passed away at the age of 90, according to NCIS. We are grateful that CBS was David McCallum's home for such a long time and are terribly grieved by his departure. David was a talented novelist and performer who was adored by people all over the world, according to NCIS social media posts. David McCallum, an actor who rose to fame as a teen heartthrob in the 1960s television classic The Man from UNCLE and played the eccentric medical examiner in the hugely successful NCIS series 40 years later, has passed away. He was 90. According to a statement released by CBS, McCallum passed away naturally on Monday at New York Presbyterian Hospital while being attended by relatives. David was a talented playwright and performer who was adored by people all around the world. He lived an extraordinary life, and his legacy will endure forever thanks to his family and the numerous hours of film and television that will always exist, according to a CBS statement. Scottish conceived McCallum had been doing great showing up in such movies A Memorable Night, About the Titanic, The Incomparable Getaway and The Best Story at Any Point Told, as Judas. Yet, it was the man from UNCLE that made the light entertainer with the Beatles' K hairstyle and easily recognized name during the 60s. Long-term value is correct, have bounce Barker bites the dust at 99. Eulogies. Long-term value is correct, have Sway Barker bites the dust at 99. The progress of the James Bond books and movies had set off a chain response, with spies multiplying on both huge and little screens. To be sure, Bond maker Ian Fleming contributed a few thoughts as The Man from UNCLE was being created, as per John Heitland's The Man from UNCLE book. The show, which appeared in 1964, featured Robert Vaughn as Napoleon Solo, a specialist in a cryptic, cutting-edge crew of wrongdoing warriors whose initials represented Joint Organization Order for Regulation and Requirement. In spite of the virus war, the organization had a global staff, with McCallum as Ilya Kuryakin, Solo's Russian companion. The job was generally little from the start, McCallum added, in a 1998 meeting that, I'd never known about the word, companion. The show drew blended audits however in the end got on, especially with high school young ladies pulled in by McCallum's attractive features and cryptic, scholarly person. By 1965, Ilya was a full accomplice to Vaughn's personality and the two stars were mobbed during individual appearances.